hey chat. I'm I'm finally here with Jackal. Um someone in chat a moment ago said today's vine sauce is different from yesterday's vine sauce and they were watching boundary break. I like the idea of like every streamer according to this one chat member just being a vine sauce. So that said, I'm here with um the this vine sauce that you may know. Uh his name is Dave. Hi Dave. <laughs> Hey guys, Dave here. I think it's not even that quote, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, but no, Dave was kind enough to join me for Jackal. Uh, did you try a different Dave this time? Yeah, yesterday's Dave was Dave Pap. This is Dave Cap. <laughs> I nearly spit out my water hearing that noise. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, we got this working on Fightcade. Um, yesterday was just technical problems after technical problems, and we'll talk about it, I'm sure, as we play. Um, but this is a game that I grew up playing, and, and I think it's got a great co-op, and it's actually better in co-op, like, a lot better. And so, I figured, um, because my, my um, code name in Metal Gear Solid was Jackal, this just seemed appropriate to follow that up. And also, it's Konami. 1988 Konami. This is a really cool game. It was an arcade game, and then it was on the NES. This battle will make your blood boil. <sighs> that sounds like a problem. <laughs> if your blood is boiling, go see a doctor. Please, chat. So, I'll explain a little bit. You're a Jeep. You have a score. You get grenades that turn into missiles. You have to rescue POWs. And, um, you're... Here's the one thing. The machine gun only shoots up. Weird, right? So, Dave, you've never played this, right? Nope. So, here, uh, shoot that building. My cousin was the one with the NES, and he lived in, uh, Massachusetts. So now, you get that guy, and check out your grenades now. Oh, shit! So you get missiles now, which are faster, but they don't lob over things. So this is where the game gets tricky. It starts to get really kind of bullet hell. And not too bullet hell, but a little bit here and there. So your cousin was the one with the NES. What did, what did you grow up with? Uh, I didn't have anything until the SNES came out. I, I also had the Game Boy. I had the Game Boy. Gotcha. Um, ja you're apparently a little loud. Let me Let me get your volume down a bit. That should be good, chat. Did you all see right. the Zelda beta content? Not all of it, some of it. Looks cool. Whoa! So that's, um, one of the issues. Uh, now you have grenades again. So one of the issues is that the screen just scrolls a certain way. And yeah. You can get those. And then I'll get this lad. And then, uh, once you bring those to a heliport, you'll be able to uh, upgrade your gun okay. further. And you get points, which leads to one-ups, and this is a game that, like, actually likes one-up. You know, you, I like one-up. One-up is good, especially in a lot of these old NES games. So yeah, you can just run dudes over. So after we hit the tutorial segment, you can grab that. I'll be sure to uh, tell you guys about the wonderful technical problems that we had yesterday. Okay, so now this is where grenades are better, slightly, because we would have been able to shoot over those barriers. That makes sense. So if I'm not mistaken, Dave, there's there's a secret. Yeah, shoot missile. Um, th yeah, you got it. Nice. <laughs> I can't was believe I remembered like, that. Is that points? Yeah, I think that was points for the one up. Okay. Yeah. And it's been so long. I can't even actually remember the last time I played an NES game with somebody. Well, it would have been yesterday. <laughs> well, sort of. Okay, 
So now, before the helicopter leaves, we have. Oh, big stoop. We that wasn't okay. It's just the screen problem. <laughs> I don't know what that word was that I just said. Big stoop. Yeah. Okay, so now you you can start at the helicopter. So you get points, and then that last guy will give you a missile upgrade. Oh wait, never mind. I lied. <laughs> After a couple rescues, you will get missile upgrade. Now, uh, my missile is maximum, so I have these Ooh. these four-way uh, explosion explosions, and those will go through walls. So they're they're nice. really really good. Better than Bomberman. <laughs> oh yeah, actually. Okay, so um, careful now. That w noise was a one-up noise. All right. Yeah! <sighs> this was the time of Rambo and Commando, the Schwarzeneggers and Stallones. And so, that macho, like, hell yeah, was very big in the 80s. Also, uh, I don't know if you can hear it well, chat, but the music in this game was always really good. I was a big fan. Um, whoa, careful. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about those lads. We should try here, I think. Maybe we'll try this. There, you know what? There might have been a secret down south there. Oh, well. Yeah. It's good, but the pop is a bit... Ugh. It was called something else and started as an arcade game at first. In fact, I think Jackal had two other different names because Konami was like that. That was courtesy of Agent Red Jackal. By the way, Agent Red Jackal made a really cool Jackal VR chat thing that I'm sure you will all see at some point. It was, uh, it was a surprise to me and it made me want to play this even more. Is so, that like Medusa trying to spit at us? Yeah, the game gets a little weird, Dave. Oh, okay. Even though it, it is like, you know, military muscle butt, it turns a little... Sometimes there's Medusa heads. I just accepted it in the 80s because I didn't... Like, my brain was mush. Oh, you gotta get that dude. Before he uh, helps himself, I think. Nice. You can, you can grab these. You need the lives. I was watching an episode of Deep Space Nine called Far Beyond the Stars, one of the best episodes of the series. I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a line where they say they they pulped they pulped it they pulped the magazine, and I was like, oh, that actually is a real term. I did I didn't just make that up. Okay, this could be a little tricky, but yeah, 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 good shit. No, I mean, the yep. word exists, but it existed in, like, print media. Like, when they say, like, they're pulping a magazine, they mean, like, it's not going to be printed. They're just going to destroy it. So. You got me looking all over for secrets now. There's certainly more. That's good helicopter. Uh, Here we go. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Let's, let's try this way. What does pulp and pulp fiction mean? My analysis of pulp and pulp fiction is that like pulp is like just a combination of a bunch of stuff all pulped together. Orange juice. Mother fire, fire. You get those guys. I could be wrong about that. Cheap paper, it's a type of paper. But, so, so why would, uh, what, what, what does the name of the movie mean? Dave, do you have any ideas? Uh, like... Oh, the pulpy magazines. Pulp. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Did not expect that. So that happens. So there's gonna be more of those. Uh, so now you have to fear every pillar. Yeah, I will. Alright, 
this this is you. I think you you have uh, the dudes. Let me just uh, clear away. Yeah. Jesus, could there be any more? So this is Konami, which means I can use a Konami code and like steal lives from me, right? I don't think you can. Maybe. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, if you if you really need to, I don't mind you taking a life, but I don't know how. It, there was a game that I played a lot of when I was younger that had life sharing like that. Uh, I think it was, I mean, Contra would have it. Yeah. Fuck. Man. There's gonna be more of these uh, shitty pillars. There we go, there's one. Medusa heads coming up. I can't believe I remember so much of this. This was a go-to Sunday game that I I would play a lot. Never really cared about the score. You know, like in some games, you want to get the high score. I never really, for this game, I never really paid too much attention to it. I just wanted to get through the damn game. I think they only fire horizontal, uh, vertic- uh, diagonal. One of those. Yeah, that happens. Can you share a life? I don't think so. <laughs> Chat, does anyone know if Dave can take a life? A plus B. There you go. Alright. I'm gonna be the cause of a game over. Go for the Medusa heads. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'll cover you with, from the missiles. There you go. Here? <laughs> that was always a weird screen for me. Cause that, like, so, depending on how well you do and how many lives you lose, you get a different, uh, screen. And one of them is just here. I know there's a secret on this level. I don't know where, though. I don't remember reading about the Great Medusa Head Statue battle in history. You don't remember that from the Gulf War? Well, this is 88. From the Vietnam War? From whatever war we were in, <laughs> what was going on at the time? <laughs> Korean, maybe? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Golf? Uh, golf is a little too late for the this game. Korea was before Vietnam. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Granada? I was ah, awful at I looked at, I looked at chat for two seconds. Desert something? Desert P? Uh, desert you can use P the lives. You may I don't well. know the Desert P war. I have to go over to the left side. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Desert Storm? Oh, yeah, Desert I Storm was one of them. We don't know our wars, uh, chat. Who's the guest? It's Dave. Dave Cap. Hey, y'all. Dave, um, was, again, kind enough to, uh, join me, even though he has not played Jackal before. Kind enough to help you game over. I uh, well, yes. At least we're not playing Operation Wolf. That was a light gun game that was just, like, torture. That game is torture. And the light gun was always really inaccurate. Ugh. <laughs> uh, this game is I, I hard. Died. I, I died that time, yeah. I game over. That's alright, you, you can just lead us to victory. Or, or death. 
Well, at Luckily, least it seems like infinite continues, right? I think it's infinite continues, and we, cool. we start from the level where we left off, so it's it's pretty... You know, it's it's doable. It's hard, but it's doable. That right there, chat, was here? Tush. I wonder how the arcade version is com Like, I saw the, the visuals were better. This is the one I'm familiar with. I've never played the arcade version. I played it for like two minutes just to see what it was like, and it, it was just nicer. All around nicer. Like, it's a smoother game. It's, it's more 16-bit. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna wait to blow these buildings up. Oh, well, that's fine. It doesn't matter. They'll they'll live. All right, there's gonna be some enemies up here. So, okay. Yeah, I'll stay here, and then they'll all stay there, and you okay. can get those. You can, yeah, perfect. And you, yeah, perfect. Right. Why are you invading this Mediterranean shipping port? Uh, we we it's cocaine related. We need to get the cocaine into the country. Into the country, not out. Well, yeah. So in order to get it back out again. Oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta keep busy. You know? <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> listen, life is complicated, and sometimes you just need to keep yourself occupied. We're just, uh, listen, we're in Pacifica right now trying to get some fresh shrimp, that's all. Well, I don't know. You, you've heard about the shrimp from Pacifica, though. That trash from the sea. No good. Make you sick. Uh, I think yeah. there's a secret in one of these spots where there would... Yep. I'll, I'll grab this one. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's just full power-up. That's just full power-up. Oh, okay. okay. So some of them are points, some are full power. So you, you're gonna end up... You should get all these POWs. Alright. I'd probably recommend... If you die, the POWs decrease, by the way. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, I didn't even see I, it. I'll grab two of them. So you have a couple more. If you manage to bring those to the helipad, that would be good. Yeah. Alright. So... Oh! Alternating laser. laser. Wow. Good dodge. I had a alien covenant moment there. Okay, now hang on. Let me go through first because it gets easier. Watch. Fuck. <laughs> okay. It does get easier though. Watch. You see you see how it's like now it's two that they alternate between? Now it's three. Yeah, okay. These guys didn't really think their security system through very well. No, this is not ADT. This really could have been, like, a Metal Gear prequel. Like, you know, this could be Zanzibar Land or something. Right now, it's, uh, this Jeep actually has Meryl, Otacon, and Snake on it right now. I could have seen this being a thing you had to do, like, if you went to the cardboard box and wanted to travel to another part of the base. You had to yeah. Take the car or like a little car, a Jeep segment. I ha oh, okay. I think I, I have a little bit of heartburn from the, uh, the Trader Jim's. Um, you can- I think you can also deposit at the same time. Yeah, you can. I got- I, I had the butter chicken. Have you ever had that, Dave? No, I haven't. It's the microwavable, like, Indian food with rice. It's- it's really good, and I- and I got the, um, naan bread, too. It's good, but now I feel some heartburn, so that's fun. Are you just talking about the tikka masala? It's tikka masala, but it's called butter chicken, so it's it's similar. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love their uh, refrigerated tikka masala. That's what. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean refrigerated? Like the frozen that you microwave, or? Well, they have a frozen one and a refrigerated one at my Trader Joe's, and oh. the refrigerated one is sort of fresher tasting. Fresh. It doesn't make you sick. So it's. I'll check that out one day. I. I kind of. I was. I don't go to Trader Joe's a lot. I think this is the first time or second time I've been there this year. 
Mm. Maybe, well, I mean, this year, uh, sorry, 2020, uh, it was a kind of a different year, let's say. But um, I mostly just do like regular ass grocery shopping. But once in a while, I will go there and I'll pick up some of that banana water shit. And, mm. Oh, yeah, those are fun. Yeah, I, I get the tiki masala too, chat member. Like, they're both good. Did you try? We talked about the pancake bread. You had. Mm hmm. I was the one who told you to get it. Oh, it was your suggestion. Yeah. I was going nuts for that shit when I first had it. What do like, you eat it with? I just put butter on it. That is wonderful. Nothing like butter and carbs, man. Yeah, no. I, I avoided any overly high carbs except the non bread when I went. Um, I heard it's good with ice cream. It is, yeah, that's yeah. a good call. <laughs> Here again? Here? Chat, I may end up grabbing some banana water at some point. Yeah, you're making me want to go tomorrow and get some. I would have done it today, but I forgot. Yeah, I, again, I'm not, I really don't care if Trader Joe's increases their profits. I have no. <laughs> I don't really give a shit, but the truth is, like, some of their stuff is, is pretty good. Like, I, that, it's just aren't, I, the banana water, people keep asking me, how do you milk a banana? And I'm like, dude, it's not that. It's just, the, it's not water, even. Like, one person was like, is it just a banana suspended in water? And I'm like, no. No, you can't do that, can you? Maybe you can, I don't know. But it's, it's orange juice with strawberry and banana, and it's, it's just, it's a nice, sweet... Once in a while, juice. You don't want that all the time. Yeah, I could see it being water infused with banana. I'm going to admit something embarrassing. I once tried to put a banana in a juicer. And what was that like? It comes out. Because there's no liquid in a banana. <laughs> there's no liquid in a banana. Yeah. What if, what if you blend it? I mean, you get mushy banana. Oh, yeah. You can take that. Like, this is like a big professional juicer I used, and oh. nothing. I was really sad. <laughs> I basically wasted a banana. I mean, unless I used the pulp for something, but... Right. I'm a wasteful American, so... Yeah. Oof. I'm sorry, I guess that was on me. No, no worries. Bad. I was gonna say, like... So how do they get the, the juice out of the banana for the, the this thing? Well, it is probably a banana suspended in water, that. <laughs> Oh, I don't mind. Oh. That's all good. Is your Trader Joe's not an hour away like mine is? No, not an hour. But we, we have a bunch of them in New York. So. There might be a secret down here. Let me just double check. A train? Oh, there will be a train. There will be. Oh, so be so careful. Good. Mines. Oh, that was a one-up. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, spike! Ah, fuck! Ah. Damn it. it. Happens. Alright, let me take out this thing. We're getting one ups. Oh, I got full power. Again, grenade is useful in, in a lot of situations. It's almost oh, yeah. kind of a better idea to have one grenade, one missiles. Not a better idea, but you know, it's not the worst thing. It's it's an optimal course. Can be. Like, I, I can see it. What is that helicopter supposed to be doing? Going back to America. Oh, oh, oh it's just the way it's showing you like it's gonna be up soon and then it goes off. I get it. Ah. Didn't want to miss. Oh yeah, no- oh, oh. No machine gun fire on that helicopter. Behind D. <laughs> is, is the heat- maybe like, it's a rating of how well we did? 
and we just keep getting the here rating? I think given the wonky translations of a lot of these early games, you never know. But I, I don't, I think here is, is a terrible, um, I, I think like, if you're going like devil meter, like don't here and awesome are not good comparisons. Like they should have used a different thing. It's them Ooh. finding the next location. Yeah. But well, we if, had yeah before. Right, and that that's if you do well and don't die a lot. You get the yeah. And if you if you fuck up, they just are like, are we here? We suck. over here too. Uh, going in. Fortune favoring the bold here. Mm. Yeah, to its credit, you know, unlike any other sort of similar games like this, the, the wide levels is actually pretty uh, impressive. Yeah, it's, it's well done to see it runs pretty well too like this is a i think a very well made nes game i always thought those were matchsticks oh, no. huh. dropping matchsticks you get oh uh, uh, yeah again optimal would mm. dictate that you have yeah. Especially here. Damn. Mm. Um. Let. Me... Oh. I got this now. Yeah. If you get your dude back, you get your your missile back. Like, the, there's a chance that your glowy dude will die. But mm -hmm. if he doesn't, then yeah, you're good. Oh yeah, the soundtrack is awesome. Like I said, the I like the tunes, it's just the NES sound trip is a little poppy. It's like pop, pop. It's like the monkey going. It's that. You mean cat? Yeah, it's the cat, but in the vision the video the vision. In the in the video that I showed it was it was a uh, little monkey fella. Speaking of Vision, did you end up watching WandaVision? First two episodes, yeah. Did you? Are there's three available now, no? Or just two? Um, uh, I didn't watch the third, if it's up. No. I don't know when it's... But, um... You get that. Was it, you know, would you recommend it? Uh, honestly, it feels like a show that was built to be binged, and not seen weekly, mm -hmm. so I would actually recommend holding off a little bit. I'll hold off. And then, uh, you know, if it proves to be good down the line, but it's... So, it's, it's okay then. It's just like, yeah, it's just like a weird... I like the premise. Hang on a second, chat. We'll, we'll be right with you. We have some work to do. I'll take care of this. It's, yeah. I'm going to try to lure him this way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me take care of these, and, not, and then I'll work my way over. There we go. Alright. I think this helicopter leaves if we're not quick enough. By the way, get this. Definitely get that. Oof. Yeah, we should go down this way, down and around. It's going to be a turret. Alright. Motherfuckers. All right, let's uh, let's deposit. Are you kidding me, game? Yeah. I would say that this game takes no prisoners, but that's obviously not the case. Oh, 
fiddlesticks. <laughs> Ugh. There we go. And you saw a new Expanse episode? Yeah, yeah. It was That's, like uh, bad feels the episode. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was like, how bad can we make you feel? In a good way, though. It, it was. It was good. It was like a slow burn episode for a lot of it, without I mean, spoiling too much chat. Yeah, for, like, trying to evoke an emotion, they do a phenomenal job. The acting was great. I really- those, that cast grew on me. A lot. And that's just one aspect of it, you know? Like, the whole thing, the production, the soundtrack, everything just works really well. I, I gotta say, though, I'm a huge Amos fan. Mm -hmm. I, I just- I love that dude. <laughs> I like watching him suplex people. I don't know anybody who's not an Amos fan. He's just so perfect in that role. Yeah, he's good. Made it! There we go. That was, I think, the second best one. Cool. So I think we're just about at the end of the game here. Let me see it. Again, vague memories of secrets, but I only remembered two. Did you read them in Nintendo Power? No, that's just from, <laughs> just from like playing this game so much that every inch of the game was scoured. Scour cream and onions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one even said that. I looked in chat. I thought <laughs> someone said scour cream and onions, and then it was worse. Like it was a way worse and disgusting comment. But I, I think my brain just protected me from it. Not even gonna ask. We should go this way, uh, yeah. see if there's other houses. So, uh, last night, I decided to start, up uh, Everspace. One. One? It's, uh, I never ended up beating it. I got pretty far, I never beat it. Now I'm gonna start from scratch again. And uh, in my first run, I'm up to like Sector 5. Oh, nice. I still haven't died, so I guess I still have some skills at that. At least. Yeah. W uh, PC version? Rock. Yeah. The Switch version ended up being pretty good. Like, it wasn't amazing. Some of it was a little crusty looking, but for what it was, I think they did a pretty good job translating. Let's not. Not worth it. Not worth it. Okay. Well, you had the <laughs> you had the better weapon. Good yeah. reflex. Hell yeah! All right. Good shit. Big mother. Big dick. Sorry. <laughs> it just something comes from off screen. Hey, you're dead. Yeah. Nes hard. Yeah. Well, who was that? Oh, it was me. Oh, nice. But, uh, yeah, Everspace 1 on Switch is good because it's portable, has gyro, um, but the explosions look crusty and the frame rates are, are not amazing. But it's one of those ports where you, you get used to it, and it's like the convenience of having Everspace on a handheld was really... it was nice to have. Um... It's, it's like the Doom Eternal port, I heard, was a fucking technical marvel that they got it running at a steady 30. And, yeah, sure, it looks like Vaseline, but... Kind of interesting to see them pull it off. Panic button did it again. Did you play, um... 30 FPS at 12p. <laughs> did you, uh, did you, did you play, uh, Everspace 2 yet? 
so yeah, they let me have the prototype a few months back when they were just sort of giving it away. And so I played a bunch of that, and that was really fun. Um, what I watched of your stream last night, it looks kind of like a... Two nights ago, but yeah. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it looks different. Not not like visually, just it right. looks like it's a bit different gameplay-wise, but... You get that. Uh, I definitely... Uh... Crap. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, that was my bad. I should have fucking oh. cleared the way. Uh, I definitely want to play it. I also kind of want to wait until it's done. I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. So I, I thought about it because like there there may be save wipes if they end up changing something radically, and it's still they 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 released it in early access, and they said there's at least 12 to 16 months of development, and the game feels complete already. Like, yeah. just from a gameplay standpoint. They're um, kind of pulling a Hades. They, it feels like they are, yeah. And that's cool, but I, I... Part of me would be like, let's wait. Like, I've waited for Subnautica. Zero... G, yeah. z zero degrees. But I can't wait for uh, Everspace 2. It's just... Too good. You got it. Cool. Uh, MMO tactics now. <laughs> That's another MMO. That was a Leroy. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you... Oh, yeah. Thirty XX early access. Uh, yeah, I applied for a key. Fuck. All right, we may have to end up. We're, we're probably gonna end up doing this level over. That's the enemy's logo. A skull. Are we the baddies? Oh, one of us got a one up. <laughs> it was me, and I immediately wasted it. But what else is there here? I could probably use you. Yeah. Throw enough grenades at a building. Whoa, oh, right! I forgot about this. I, I like that this game, even though it has weird Medusa heads, it's uncomplicated to the point of just big tank. At the end of the day, it's big tank. I was gonna say it's unpretentious, and now I hate it. <laughs> well, damn. Pulling out the smooth moves there. We'll at least have more lives when we get there, but we were probably like, I don't know how many more grenades. Maybe a couple. We can just bypass the turrets on the, the outside. Yeah, we could probably just get the POWs and go back. 
would you prefer it go the Contra route and have aliens? Well, no, not necessarily. And, and that, that would be another cool game to check out again. Like, I, I played Contra a lot when I was younger, but not any time recently. Contra 3 is amazing. Um, I prefer that it's not aliens. Oh, that was a dead end. Yeah. I prefer that it's not aliens, but they could have gone, like, Metal Gear. And instead of Metal Gear, they just went Big Tank. <laughs> Yet, again, Medusa heads fire missiles. But, again, that could... Maybe that's not, like, a body harvest mythical thing. And instead, it's just they put missiles in the Medusa heads. You know? It doesn't have to be supernatural. It could just be them trying to be sneaky. I feel like the arcade version of this would be harder on purpose. Just because it wanted to guzzle coins. Oh! True. But you'd also be able to continue from wherever you died, typically. I, I, I don't know if this is a good run of this level mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, I just could not place a shot. We just have to not die at all. And we'll be fine, I think. We don't need to go to the left side. Fuck the left side. Let's just, uh... Let's do this. Alright. Let's do that. Nope. Too much. It's just a nightmare, this one. I don't know why. Gah! Then he stopped sabotaging the run. What? I'm really not. But no, I needed that. I needed that. I'm gonna take a life. Damn it, we were so close. Oh, God. Gosh, should I take one? No. Uh. Alright. Well, I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can't do this. <laughs> A lot of distracting things happening on screen. I like how you were the MVP this this level. Right. You had to be. 
And you didn't even grow up with the game. Okay, well, I got a life at least. So, that's helpful. Yes. Take it. We, we gotta take turns making the stream go long. Well, let's work. Just, just, yeah, okay. <laughs> This is the one. I thought we were going to complete this in one go. I didn't know what to expect. It's a short game. I mean, if we succeeded or the first time we got to that tank, it would have been like a 35 minute, 38 minute playthrough. Which, of course, it was, you know, when I was younger, it felt like hours because A, time moved differently. It's a flat circle. And then the other thing is, like, you know, I was bad at video game. I haven't improved mm -hmm. much, but... But my brain can process complex colors and shapes a little bit better, at least. Which McConaughey do you like better? True Detective McConaughey or Interstellar McConaughey? True Detective McConaughey. Yeah, I He's agree. He's got the sort of wild angle to him that isn't quite as wild in Interstellar. In Interstellar, yeah, he's, he's pretty much just like Pilot who does crazy things. And in uh, True Detective, like he, he's, he's trying to figure out like why time is is like a flat soda can <laughs> like that that's the analogy yeah we don't need to kill those watch out for the helicopter that insta kills you here mm -hmm. is okay there's gonna be another we're gonna face up so we can take care of it Lawless execution of the plan. He's spamming. The helicopter just gave me anxiety. Yeah. It's like, is that it? Yeah, we we have the weak sauce missiles currently, so it's not going to be as easy. Every once in a while, you really gotta run someone over. Mm -hmm. That was how I played GTA 3. For years. Oh. Okay. Dave, do you want to get Super Missile, or should I? Uh... Do we both have regular Missile? We... we yeah. Oh. Try to get it, because you okay. have suffered enough at that treadmill. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now I have to use it. <laughs> yeah, now, now you're the, uh, the linchpin. The David linchpin? Oh my god. Oh my god. You gave that one to me. I what? I gave that one to you? <laughs> you didn't have to take it. Up. You want? I had to. It was David Lynch's birthday today. Was it? Oh. I think so, yeah. Oh. Ah! Do you think he's spending it with that little monkey fellow that he, he likes to film with? I hope so. I would. That was David Lynch. It's 
So, how do we do this? Uh, the, the, uh now we're, we're, yeah, we're gonna have some trouble here, I think. We, uh, diagonal. Okay, like, I need to, one of us needs to lure while the other yeah. one dies. Or we abuse iframes. Alright, there we go. We should just go. Okay, a chat was saying just go, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna line up, and then one, two, three, go, don't look back. <laughs> well, let's see. I got three, you got one. Yeah. Well, we just have to make it work. Let's clear out as many units as we can before we scroll the screen up. Who I am. Okay. I, I, I didn't mean in the video game either. Um, okay, here we go. I really should have a, a Neil Breen mustache and beard emote. At this point. F sorry, false mustache and beard. Okay, you uh. Get one. Yeah, you want. Got one of those. I'm sure, someone come up with that. Yeah, wait until there. We should, yeah, we should fight over here where we don't have to deal with potholes as much. <laughs> I was supposed to be the expert. It's all you. You gotta- you just gotta win. That's all. Oh, it's red now, so you probably only have another 30 hits. Wait, maybe not. Maybe- maybe it's right there. Oh! Oh, no! Wait! Where's the continue? Wait! It, is there a rewind function? Does this game? I don't know if there's a rewind. No! Uh, oh no! <laughs> we didn't save state or anything. I thought there were infinite continues. I did too! It didn't put a number! Oh my god. There's no rewind in Fight Cade. Uh... I'm gonna look something up real quick. Jackal cheat codes. <laughs> uh, we got Game Genie in this thing? Um... There's no actual cheat codes. It's just Game Genie. The code is fairly easy to do. You must be playing a two-player game. When your partner is dying in the game, press A and B at the same time, and you can gain a hundred lives. Yeah, but that doesn't get us That's back not, to the yeah, last level. We're... we're... <laughs> uh. Well, I said I'd help you get the game over, and here we are. Meanwhile, I probably was worse than you were. I don't know. I think we went back and forth. Uh, I'm not playing through this again. No. Maybe we can do the arcade one sometime. Yeah. It's only 20 minutes to get back. <laughs> nah, I'm good. We'll consider the arcade version at some point. Yeah, that, that seems like it would be a good idea. Uh, look up the ending on YouTube. You know what? It, I'm gonna guess. I, I, I beat this game back in the day. But I'm gonna guess that the ending is, good job, soldier, you win. And then there's a picture of the, the jeep. 
that fly into the distance. Play some fighting games while you're here. <laughs> I need to get the raw game downloaded, ripped off the cartridge first. Yeah, there's, there's, um, I, I'm good. We gotta, yeah, we gotta put our cartridges in the, the, uh, the, the, the machines that we have to back them up before we can play more games. Um, how about this? Next time we do Jackal arcade version or whatever, maybe we'll come prepared with another game. Alright. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. Sure, thank you, Vin. It was fun. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. It's still good. It's just a shame that the uh, continues are not infinite. So, that's a shame. Who, who are the people in our chat right now? <laughs> I recognize one of them. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I guess they're in the Jackal lobby. The others were trying to sneak in. Can't do that. All right. Uh, I'm going to take a break and then Everspace 2 up next. I wanted to spend extra time with Everspace because it's good and it needs the extra time because it is good. So, Dave, thanks. We'll, we'll, we'll get it we'll, one day. Sure. Yeah. Have a good one. See you. All right. Well, chat, we'll get back there one day. Status update on the snake plant. Um, snake has planted himself stealthily in the corner and is oxygenating my living environment. So yes, very good. We're going to take a quick break and I'll be back with Everspace 2. Stick around. Breathe oxygen. Breathe. Vinny, before you start, you really should show the end of Jackal. Yeah, sure, why not? Jackal ending. It's, uh... Help me, Declan. Help me, Declan! When does Bruce Willis with his rectal mouth show up? That's weird. I mean, yeah, I'll show you the NES version ending. If we do the arcade version, you know, it'll be maybe a little different, but... It's a tough fight. Well done. Your mission accomplished. It's exactly what I said it would be. Uh, yeah, this dude is smoking, like, what is that, a Gotti? And then you hear in the distance, Some folks born made to wave the flag! And then, this happens. <laughs> 